All right, guys, the next creature we're going to investigate is one we have a history with. We're going to Cherokee County, North Carolina, and we're going after the Cherokee Death Cat. Hell yes, let's get after it. I'm excited. We know this Death Cat is nothing to mess with. It's a huge feline, weighing in at 500 pounds, four foot to the shoulder, a call that would absolutely take your head off. We're getting ready to meet with our first eyewitness. There must be our guy. An outdoorsman named Bubba. He's grown up here his whole life, and he knows this place like the back of his hand. Well, Bubba, we heard you had a pretty interesting encounter out here. Well, yeah, we did. Uh, me and my dad was squirrel hunting back here on the back of the place. Had a pretty good night, killed her limit. So when we're coming out of the woods, I was along about that tree right back here, that big one that's kind of leaning sideways. And dad was in front of me on that little bank, and he just stopped dead. And suddenly he got up off his bike and he turned around and looked at me. And he said, did you see that? And I said, see what, dad? And he said, that big cat. And he said, son, that cat was eight or nine foot long. Said it was huge. Dad, go on. Said it come running and hit this fallen log. And dad said, leapt through the air and hit right there on that bare spot on that tree. And then jumped off and went running that way as hard as it could go. He did, said, did, did you, you see? It, it jumped. It jumped from this log to that tree? Yep, according to my dad. And I mean, he was physically shaking. And him not shook up. For his dad to be shook up like this, living here all of his life, he's seen an impressive creature that scared the hell out of him. I'm interested to see how far it is from that log up to where it lit up in that tree. That's a pretty long shot. I want to get a measurement and see exactly how far this big cat jumped. How far is that? 50 feet. And it's another at least six foot to where it landed at. You're looking at 54, 55 feet. Wow. You know, I've heard of cougars, mountain lions being able to jump 35 feet. Never heard of anything being able to jump 50. The only cats in this area are bobcats and mountain lions. That's not what Bubba's dad's seen. What he's seen, that's the Cherokee Death Cat. Bubba, we appreciate you telling us your story, man. Based on Bubba's story, this is a perfect spot for us to get out here tonight and do an investigation and find out if this is the Cherokee Death Cat. After talking to Bubba today, we took that measurement. That cat leapt uphill 55 feet, a massive killing machine. Yeah. This is the Cherokee Death Cat. So we head out this way, start working back and forth, see if we can find any sign that the Cherokee Death Cat's still in this area. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. These big predator cats, they don't fool around. This thing could be on top of you before you blink your eyes, and you're done. Something big's been through here. There's bare dirt where leaves are kicked up. It's almost like we jumped something. Hold it for a minute. What's wrong, Jeff? I got something glowing right in the bottom of that tree right there. About 20 yards. Oh, check this out. There's a oh. pee post. This is fresh pee, dude. Oh, wow. You can smell it. Oh, yeah, look at those claw marks. Dad, go on. It was just here, wasn't it? We just found a scent post. You can see claw marks almost seven feet in the air and fresh urine at the base of the tree. This has to be the death cat. Look at all this dirt kicked up through here. Well, we definitely got a cat in here, don't we? Without a doubt. Look at that old tree. It's a dandy unit. Turkey loves flying up in big old trees like that, man. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Right up here, sounds like something walking. Hey, guys, there's claw marks on this tree. It was right up through here, Huck. Right up through there here. Was. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. It's right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Run that thermal, Jeff, run that thermal. We've got movement, brush right movement. Right there, right there, right there. Come on, let's go. Hey, guys. Move, Stay move, right, move. right on it, Buck. Be careful. It's getting thick. Stay right on it. It was going right through here. Right through here. Jeff, you got anything on thermal? Right through here, Huck. Right through here. You can see where it's through here. Jeff, you got anything on thermal? Jeff? Huck, we lost Jeff. Where the hell'd he go? Oh, oh. Right yeah, there, right there. Easy. That's something that's going all around us. It's right by Jeff. It's right by Jeff. Jeff! Get down! Get down! We gotta go. We yeah. gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Let's, Let's, go. Go. Let's go. Jeff! Yeah. Jeff! Yeah! Here's the tree we left him at. He's not here. Huck, we lost him. Jeff! 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 Jeff, bro! I got a light! What? 
I got a light. Let's go. Come on. Jeff! Jeff! You're slight. He's down here. Jeff, throw. Jeff! Jeff, throw. Jeff. Wait, Jeff, hold up, Jeff. Jeff. Grab me. Jeff. It locked eyes on me. Oh, my gosh. That scared me to death. Jeff, talk to me, dude. What's mm -hmm. wrong? Talk to us. I need to get back to the truck, and I need to be left alone for a little bit, OK? That's what I need. That's all I need. We just got up to Jeff, and he shook up. I don't want to be alone again. No, but you won't be here. We need to get him out of these woods. This way. Stay right behind Buck. He's just not himself. We're getting you out of here right now. <sighs> Easy, Jeff. Where are you Jeff, going? You're Jeff, going where are you going? Right now, Jeff is beyond being shook up. Easy now. Easy, Easy Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, easy now. Easy, Jeff. He's running into trees. He's looking all round up in the air. Get him to the truck as quick as we can. He's everywhere. This man's scared. Guys, we got a ditch here. We're going to cross. Come on. Okay, go ahead, Jeff. Now take your time. Easy now. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Get him up, Buck. Grab me. Grab me. One, two, three. <laughs> right now, the best thing we can do is get Jeff out of these woods, down to Buck's truck. What happened to him? And try to get him settled down. You're in the truck, man. You're safe. Jeff. Settle down. Settle what down. What happened, dude? Still taste his breath. What? I used to, honestly, I can still taste his breath. <sighs> Are you hurt anywhere, Jeff? Jeff, tell us what happened, dude. I was looking at that, that big tree. Claw marks on this tree. There's claw marks all the way to the top. I kept telling you. Hey, guys. Stay right it. on it, Buck. You need to get over here. It, it, I thought it was going to dive on me. Damn it. I thought he was going to come down. I thought, I thought that was the end right there. I really did. Man, his fangs must be that long. I understand, Buck. Jeff said when we got separated, that death cat came out of the tree right on top of him, so close he could smell its breath. I know you're worked up, and I know you're upset. Past that. You're here. You're with us. You're fine, man. My head ain't. I don't understand why you guys walked up. I, I was talking to you. You were right there beside me. I was telling you, look up the tree. Why did you leave me? Right now, Jeff's pissed off at us. I think the best thing we can do is get Jeff out of these woods. Come on up. And try to talk to him in the morning. I could have ended really, really bad.